Greetings, my friends. As we're in the last of the last of the last days, I feel the Lord leading me to every other day go in this pattern for a while. And of course, this way I'll be doing several sermons a week instead of just one. One day I will do a end times news report that shows how close we are to the rapture, our Pazo catching away in tribulation. And then the next day I will do scripture according to the original Greek and Hebrew transcript that shows you exactly what God meant when the Bible was written. Because the Bible was not written in our language. And sadly, Christians rely on Bibles that don't tell God's word the way that it is. And we're responsible for the original transcripts. Just because we say we have a Bible doesn't say that. God won't let us off the hook. That's why we have computers and books and dictionaries and encyclopedias to be able to figure out what the truth is. So let's go ahead and start off with the first one of these. And this is one of my favorite scripture. And again, it's drastically changed when it's read in the original Greek and Hebrew transcript. And Christians better understand what it means before their time runs out. And they end up being in hell, the lake of fire, and best case scenario left behind because of it. Matthew seven fourteen, King James Version is all I ever use. Because straight is the gate, and narrow is the way, which leadeth unto life, and few there be that find it. Narrow in the original Greek and Hebrew transcripts means this. The closely defined path, the only one God approves for Christians to live and walk through the many obstacles that may snare us and remove us from the path that leads to glory. You got that? So if we're if we have eternal security, it doesn't matter what we do, why is God warning us to stay on the narrow path so that many obstacles that would snare and remove us from the path that leads to glory and lead us, lead us to hell. Are you getting this? That's what the narrow means. Straight in the original transcripts. Walking on a direct path from God's point A to God's point B. Or using salvation, walking on a path of life that leads to heaven. So again, why does it matter what path we walk on and what we do if we all go to heaven anyways? Are you getting this? And lastly, few. Few is a universally Choice, select, the best of its kind or class, excellent, preeminent, applied to certain individual Christians. You got that? Certain individual Christians. That means that each and every Christian will be judged by God to see if they are walking on a narrow way, to see if they are repenting of those sins after they're saved, the way the Bible commands us, hundreds of scripture that we have to. And again, you can believe all the lying pastors the lying watchman, the lying whoever you speak to, keep living in fairy tale land, okay? This fairy tale has no happy ending, my friends. I'm telling you what God's word says in original transcripts. You do what you want to do. You believe what you want to believe. But if you are not repenting of your sins after you're saved, you will not step foot into heaven according to God's original transcripts of the Bible, not my words, his. Jesus Christ is your only hope. If you've never been saved or you're backslidden, Pray the prayer, do the six steps in a box below the video. No one's guaranteed more time in your life. If you'd like prayer, contact me and pray for you every day without fail. True Christians, witness and pray for the lost daily at your job. If you're not doing it, do it now. If you are great and look up, our redemption draweth nigh. We fly soon. May God bless you. Share this video. Get the word out. And please wake up, my friends. All the signs of Christ's imminent snatching away of his bride are here in front of our faces. It's going to happen any second of any day. I believe this is a year. We need to get our houses in order. Make sure we repent. Make sure we reach the loss every day. May God bless you. Share this video. Bye.